Metro Parks, uh, you know, for for a long time, we 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 know and we manage a, a park that has a, a high bank uh, perimeter to it, right? So that's one of the things that makes it a special place. Not only can you uh, experience the forest and the woodland setting, but you have these really fabulous views across Puget Sound. And a lot of that is due to the elevation, right? That you are above the water's edge. So historically, as as uh, Point Defiance Park was developed, the viewpoints along Five Mile Drive are really a character defining element, right? Of the park, it's what people enjoy. Um, over the past uh, couple of decades, Metro Parks has been uh, really monitoring the, the condition of those viewpoints and the proximity of the bluff edge to the roads. Uh, you know, series of uh, geotechnical reports over the course of time as we've monitored that uh, condition and in that 2015 master plan was to really pull the roadway back from the bluff edge because as time has gone on, the erosion of those banks has now encroached to a proximity to that roadway edge that Metro Parks feels that it's it's time to um, uh, discontinue vehicular traffic on that roadway uh, out of an abundance of caution, right? We need to protect the park uh, visitors and patrons first and foremost. And so we're not at imminent risk of a landslide that would uh, cause that roadway to fail, but uh, through the geotechnical engineer uh, and the report that we have in hand here from early this year, um, there's enough evidence that uh, really tells us that it's time to take more immediate action and to close that roadway to automobiles. As we've seen over you know recent years, uh, rainfall intensity, right, that contributes to the erosion at the top of the embankment, but as importantly is the wave action at the toe of those slopes. And as we see a incremental rise in sea level and an increased wave energy, um, it results in what the geotech uh, report refers to as an over-steepened bank, right? So those bluffs are near vertical, but as you eat away at the toe of that bank, uh, you end up with a situation where it's practically more than vertical, it's a cornice effect, right? So uh, that then um, creates a risk that that roadway could you know give way at some point in the future and we also know that the frequency of those landslides are not predictable right they're what's termed episodic they happen uh, unannounced right and we don't want to happen that to happen when we have a you know a bus full of folks out there on the on the on the drive so we are attributing um, what we see as accelerated erosion in the park we do attribute that to uh, the, the changes in the climate and the weather patterns we have here. The challenge here is um, to not uh, create barriers to folks who could be out there and experience it. And again, we want some portion of that park to always be available to you if you're driving a car or if you, again, visitors from out of town. That was the thing that we always did as kids. You know, if you had somebody in from out of town, we show it off, right? It's a place to be very proud of. Point Defiance Park is one of the largest urban uh, parks in the nation. And to have an intact forest of, you know, nearly 500 acres out there of the uh, the old forest zone um, is, is, is unique. And, um, but yeah, folks may feel that if that's the only way that you experience the park today, you may feel this as a loss of that opportunity to experience. Uh, I would ask that those same community members think about how we might work together to, um, to find an alternative to that.